What's up everyone, it's Big Banks. We're back again for another video. Today we are exploring a beautiful abandoned mansion here in the south. You guys know the southern series has been going crazy. Some of the best places I've ever seen and this one is a really good one too. Time capsule, everything left inside. This guy, he was a famous like merchant in this town. He was a business owner. He owned like a department store. He was a golfer. He had friend. He was friends with Jack Nicholson. He was friends with like many other golfers. They golfed together and they were really good friends. And they actually owned this whole side right here, this big land. I'm not gonna say what it is because it'll kind of just give away this place. But this guy was very important to this town and this county. We're gonna take a look inside. I am with the Bando fam, my wife today, and we're just gonna explore this place. And I hope you guys enjoy. So. Without further ado, let's get right into it. Guys, just check out the front of this house. We have the pillars. It's a beautiful house. I believe this was built sometime in the early 1900s, late 1800s. Look at how beautiful that is. The big windows, the door, the pillars, even the chandelier out right up front. Beautiful brick. You can see the overgrowth everywhere. Got this drive through beautiful land that it's gone. Just abandoned out here. What do you think of this place? It's amazing. You kept finding another room after another room. Like when you walk through that one, the exactly. office, and then you find the bar and- Yeah, it's just, what an insane house. So, guys, let's go in. Let's take a peek and let's see what's left behind in here. And yeah, I'll see you inside. After a bit more research, I've come to find out that this beautiful home was abandoned due to the death of the husband and the wife. In 1989, they retired from the department store that they owned, and they actually left designer suits and even a Rolex behind. But let's take a look inside the mansion and see what's left. All right, we just made it inside this abandoned mansion, and now we're gonna take a look at the living room. We're gonna go all throughout around this house. This guy, Left a lot of stuff behind. You're gonna see a lot of this cool stuff in here. Clothes left behind, furniture, very expensive items, a bar, paintings, because they were artists too. And there's just a lot of really cool stuff in here that I wanna show you guys. We're in the south, I am sweating, it is so freaking hot. Yeah, I'm just ready to get this explore in, and yeah. Cozy's over here with me, the Bando fam, my wife, and the other half of the Bando fam is somewhere. I think she fell to the floor. <laughs> <laughs> so we already showed you outside now we're going to show you the all inside so the first thing i'm noticing in this room is it's quite large large grand room main living room which would be probably more formal you have this nice cabinet over here that has you know some antiques in it we have these books old letters a lot of cool things like that and this is a beautiful piece of furniture honestly really well made look at these Beautiful couches. There's like a bee. It's like stuck over there. But look at these couches right here. Very fancy, probably really expensive. Really nice materials. So they've been sitting in here for quite some time. And this one is really nice. Almost gives me like a Victorian type feel, but I like it a lot. Got the coffee table, got the books, the fireplace, and all these paintings that were painted by the wife. And look at that. Cabaret is what it says. Here's like a portrait, a portrait painting right here. This looks so much like my grandma in high school. I literally thought that too. Like you thought that same too, right? Yeah. This looks a lot thought. like my grandma in high school. Looks like Leanne. Wow, <laughs> that's crazy. And then they got this beautiful painting of this river going over this bridge and the foliage and everything. But this is like very good, very detailed. I love this. I'm a big fan of art, so seeing stuff like this is amazing. Some of the stuff has been taken out, but look at this, we got a Gucci bag. Almost looks like it's fake, but I mean, it could be real. Could have got it from the Gucci store. But this is the main living area, which would be, like I said, more formal. The family room is gonna be through these doors. This is like a big open space throughout this whole thing. He actually had an office in here too, which we're gonna take you in there through those beautiful curtains. And this room is just massive. We're gonna make our way right here to the front door, main entrance. We turn around and we get this staircase right here. It's pretty nice. I hate the carpet on it though. The carpet on it is super ugly. Um, <laughs> 
sorry if that's your taste, but this is just not my taste. Like really nice staircases like this should have like a red carpet and like the flooring should be like, I don't know, like a, a marble or like checkered floor. I don't know. That's just my style. That's what I like. But even here, it's like these French doors. I think these are French doors. They're folding though. They go straight into the main room. And then a staircase right here in this front foyer. Looks like there might have been a chandelier here. So it probably was, and it was probably pretty nice. But this is a very large house. So we still have some rooms upstairs. I think we have maybe a room or two downstairs and an office, a bar, kitchen, you know, everything. So we're gonna have to keep looking at this. But the walls are like, got this like gold type of wall. I thought it was like flocked wallpaper at first, but it's just regular wallpaper. Pretty nice stuff. Black mold is throughout this entire place. And I completely forgot my mask. Gonna have to make this kind of quick, but we're gonna show you everything possible. So let's keep going through. First door to my right from the front door goes into this other room with this gold wallpaper, which I believe is the bathroom. Yeah, got a bathroom. Vanity right here, your, you know, your sink. There's some knives in here, which is weird. A bunch of other stuff. And then we have the main bathroom which is pretty cool, pretty nice. I mean, not too bad, it's definitely outdated. Yeah. Looks like makeup in there, Q-tips, toothpaste, toothbrushes, Vaseline. I mean, they're just like, you know, your basic cabinetry. And look at this, this actually has an M in it because their name started, or their last name started with an M. And we get in here to another vanity. This room's kind of jammed with stuff. But, which this is also kind of a closet. So you probably got ready in here, you know. Can't open that drawer. It's like just random stuff. Trying not to touch a lot of stuff because of the mold. You can tell there's a lot of black mold in here. But wow, look at that. Clothes are still hanging up. That's pretty amazing. All the shoe boxes are here. Here's a closet full of linens. We're going into the master bedroom. And as you can see, it has been kind of looted, maybe by the owners or something, but you know, maybe the owner's family, maybe they came back and kind of just went through some things that they could just take really quick, stuff like that. Or it's just your basic kids coming in and being thieves and whatnot. But there is some cool stuff in here. Now, one thing I found over at their department store that they abandoned as well, is I found a box, a Rolex box. And who knows, Rolex could be in this house. We never know. We're gonna look around. But from what I know, this guy was pretty, pretty famous in this town, pretty famous in this general area, in this county. And he actually knew famous golfers like Jack Nicholson. He has tapes in here where he's playing golf with Jack Nicholson and it's quite amazing. We're gonna look for those. My friend already kind of told me about him because he came into this place and we're just gonna keep looking around because there's gotta be some more stuff that we gotta uncover. So first off, there's a bunch of newspapers kind of folded up. There's these boxes though. Like what's in these boxes? Oh, just files. Probably just files for work. You know, you never know what's back here. Could be stuffed in these old cabinets, you know. It smells like cat piss, so maybe a cat has been living in here. There reeks of cat piss in this room. Look at this. Family portraits. Workout exercise bike back here. This place is definitely toxic. Probably needs to be demolished. A lot of stuff that would need to be done to it to fix it. But we got a big bed here. You can see this room. It's a really nice big bedroom in here. Then we have, here's a closet. So I see a lot of shoes right off the bat. These are pretty ugly, <laughs> but you know, not just not my style. 
but I wonder, because I saw Gucci, if they had any like Gucci shoes or things like that. They could have, could have had some designer. But the closet has definitely been kind of ran through a little bit. SAS shoes, my grandpa used to wear those. This closet's just kind of ran through, but there's two closets, so this is just one of them. But look at all the shoes that are up here. So many of them. So maybe this was her side of the closet, and then his side is over here. But yeah, I see the suits. See in the suits. Got all the shoes down there. Nice dress shoes. What is this? N N N. I don't know what that means. What brand that is. Then we got some Nikes. Look at these Air Maxes. You can tell these are like vintage. These are old. They're just falling apart. All that stuff is just kind of fell out over time. It's just a lot to go through. But this is the master bedroom. So as we exit the master bedroom, we are met with this kitchen. The first thing we got here is this table with all these glasses on it. Probably is like a breakfast table. We have another set here. Nothing on it. Golf with Jack Nicholson. There it is. <laughs> 1987. Wow. There it is. And they played golf with Jack Nicholson right there. All the glasses should just be put up in here. I'm just like kind of in awe with these abandoned mansions. How they get left like this. So this guy was pretty famous and maybe he was even a famous golfer. Look at this thing right here. Look at this. Sorry, I had to cut it off right there. Look at that. You can't even walk right there. There's a hole literally in the kitchen. I gotta be really careful walking in here. I'm a big guy. That would not be good. My goodness, this house, this kitchen is just wild. Look at, the, look at those wooden bowls up there. So guys, like I was saying, he's like really famous. There's even books that he's written in here, or maybe even his kids have written it. But if he was golfing with Jack Nicholson, maybe he was even like a pro golfer himself. I don't know. I'll do some more research, but that is, that's pretty cool to see that, you know, he was that big of a person to be friends with Jack Nicholson and playing golf with him. So that's cool. But I'm looking right now, as you can see, this is the washer and dryer room. So we'll see if we can make our way in there, but this floor, we gotta be really careful. But what I'm noticing is this fridge, it's like, I don't even, I've never seen a fridge like this. It's like, like, what the heck? It's, it's probably full of food too. But I'm scared if like we open it, this whole thing is gonna collapse. But here is the, washer dryer room got the stackables but there's books in here too there's also cleaning supplies i mean nothing too crazy just your standard you know standard living stuff got the dishwasher it's a little bit older of a one really cool kitchen though nice all the all the stuff is still here spices are still over there down here is the garage no cars left behind but it was a nice garage at one point Look at all this. The medicine. All the medicine is here. Miralax, Tylenol, medicine cabinet, just full of stuff. But right outside of the kitchen, we have this. This would be the family room. This is where they're watching TV. This is where they're hanging out, having a good time together, right here. We got the couches, but look at this mess right here. There's definitely been a lot of water damage coming in, and they had it. They had to put this right here to stop it. This is a pretty nice couch. I mean, it looks like, it looks like Posey's couch, but you know, more dirty. Dude, do not diss my couch. <laughs> it's not built for people who are six foot seven. Yeah, you're right, you're and right. Also, but even in this room, look at this china right here. This is like some fancy stuff right here. I love finding this, this stuff. Like I said, I'm being really careful of what I touch. Like, I'm not going to really touch anything in here because this is all black mold covered in everything. I don't even want to stay in this room very long. But we got the nice couches. We got the TV here, the VCR. Vintage VCR, you know. Just a large family room. And this is actually a sunroom as well. 
because you can open up all these blinds and it's just all windows. So that's amazing. You can get incredible sunlight in here. So this is like the biggest sunroom I've ever seen in a house. This is amazing. Waterford crystal is probably a watch. And look, we got the slackers in here. It's hot. Mad chilling. It is hot. But time for me to go upstairs. Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> Gotta be really careful though. What do you think? That's pretty cool. I would uh, thoroughly enjoy if it had AC. If it had AC. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I forgot to even show this part. I gotta take you guys to the bar. I gotta open these things and walk right through here. So let's go. This dude. <laughs> There's no one here. I just see your phone. <laughs> but this is the office of the guy. This is where he did his work from home. And look at this thing. This is a time capsule. We've got his desk here. Look at this. Look at this bottle. Look at that. Oh my gosh. Look, you just tip it like that. That's freaking awesome. There's a whole like library thing right here. Look at that. I like that chair. I don't like yellow, but that chair is cool. Then we have the old TV here too. Definitely vintage. Zenith is what it's called. One of the coolest parts of this house. Look at this bar. <laughs> Look at this. This is crazy. We've got the old Miller Lite glasses here. High Life beers, what it says. A thing full of seashells. And this is a this is coral right here. Look at that. It kind of actually hurts. It's kind of stinging me a little bit. But this is the bar. A little tight squeeze for me. But look at that. Wow. Even got still some alcohol left in here. Some dry gin. It's time to go upstairs. Let's see these bedrooms. Let's see what's left behind. And I'm excited to show you. So. stuff up here dang look at all the clothes so much here just left my goodness maybe they were trying to box it up and then they were gonna take it away most of it's probably from their department store too look at all these pants it's so hot oh my gosh it's so hot this closet is loaded let's go to this bedroom first my left hand. Oh my goodness. Look at this room. Got some paintings on the wall. Got some paintings on the floor here. The yellow bed. Wow. Look at this. We even got bongo drums here. I'm not a bongo drum player. <laughs> got a little jewelry box. Drawers full of clothes whatnot got this old green chair this room just is so like what vibe is this giving me 70s 80s i don't know it's just a little weird look at these paintings mm -hmm. yeah they all say patty on them so she was the artist she was a good artist i'll tell you that closet full of everything clothes Comforter, Christmas decorations. Clothes to me are just, you know, is it what it is? It's just clothes. Unless it's like designer stuff, it's kind of hard to just be really interested in the clothing that's left behind. But I mean, it's still cool and it's still crazy because I look at it like myself, I don't have a lot of clothes myself. So when I see people leave everything behind, including all their wardrobe, it just blows my mind. Then we have the bathroom. It's 
next to it, which is also yellow as well. But look at this, not only this, it's yellow. We have one bathroom, but it leads into another bathroom. So we have like a Jack and Jill type thing here. Maybe this goes into another bedroom. No, actually this goes into the hallway. But this is this bedroom again, just check it out. Look at this, all these paintings. But kind of just like a really clean, but empty bedroom, you know? Here's another closet. Weekend in Vegas. Look, here's even some paintings here. She was painting this, some flowers. It wasn't finished yet. Oh my gosh, look at that. Hold on. That was a self-portrait. That's amazing, that's a self-portrait. My gosh, I love that. How amazing is that? It's just sitting in this closet, just rotting away. Final bedroom in the final room of the house. Wow. Double beds, and these are some crazy bed frames. Look at that. We even have a paddle here. Six Flags Atlanta. We got two beds in here, so maybe siblings stayed in the same room. And look at this art. God, I love this. So that's like just like an abstract thing. It looks kind of like flowers. I almost see like a person maybe. It's like, I don't know, I'm trying to picture what it would be. But I love that. That's so amazing. And even this one too. God, I love it. We have a desk here. The art of assemblage, assemblage. Oh, this is for painting. This is like for putting canvases together and painting stuff. The painting of pictures. Wow. Wow. And more books about painting. So there were definitely artists. Look at this dresser. I mean, look at how detailed that is. That is one expensive dresser. Gucci, look at that. Look at the, oh my gosh, there's teeth. Ooh, there's teeth. Oh my gosh. Uh, uh. <laughs> Whoever Patty was, Patty was the wife, I believe, and she was the artist of this place. Like she did all the artwork and she is very talented. I am blown away by some of the art pieces that she's done. Let's keep going through. Her name is like written on everything in here. See, this is Patty back there on that cup. Sugar, spice, everything nice right there. And just some basic linens and stuff. And then we have the closet. The final closet. Wow, just everything left. All these nice clothing. Wow, I just love it. I love this place. That is the end of today's video. We just explored this abandoned mansion. I was walking into a spider web and Posey just walked into no, it. No. Oh, he's on my face. <laughs> you but got that, didn't you? I did get That's it. I did get it. <laughs> but we're going to head out of here, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this. Please check out the Bando family. Stuff will be down in the description. Tell me in the comments what you liked about this house. And that's it. We're going to get out. We're going to head to the next spot. Hope you guys enjoyed. Till next time, Big Banks out.